know what is sleep or what actually sleep is and what makes us to sleep and how what happens when we are not sleeping in this video i'm just going to answer these three questions for you in this video so stay tuned My name is Evan and welcome to a new video. If you are new here and if you are interested in computer art, tech, DIY, gaming and YouTube related stuff then start now by subscribing and hitting the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our free stuff. So this question is asked in my brain when I yesterday, uh, yesterday when I was sleeping. I just was having a dream of it and I thought that I can make a video on it saying that what is sleep, what actually makes us to sleep and what happens if we didn't sleep at night. I searched on some uh, quite uh, peculiar and famous websites and I just got this answer from uh, to this answer. So stay tuned to understand what is sleep. Answering the first question, what is sleep? So sleep is a state that we are going to spend about half of our life in sleeping itself. It is a state where we withdraw all our consciousness and power of thinking and mental ability and the moment in our life for a while is called as sleeping. Though we know why we require sleep, that it, the nervous system renews the energy if we are sleeping, uh, the renews the energy that we have exhausted in our daily life or you can say the waking heart. So it just renews the energy and the some scientists uh, refer to as that it is the recharging period of time of energy to our body cells. But scientists also say one more uh, sequence that we can't understand what is sleeping in actual in psychologically like others. And he, uh, the scientists also say one more thing saying that there is a uh, place in our brain called as sleep center which does uh, mainly two activities one is called as brain sleep. It just takes away all our mental ability and power of thinking for a while uh, while we are in sleep. That is called as brain sleep. It just gives rest to our brain. And then in two, the activity two it's performed is called as body sleep. What it actually does. <coughs> so body sleep means uh, it just takes away the sensory organ connections and connect your cells to our great level. That's what uh, that's what means as body sleep. It just don't have sense when we touch in our body in uh, while we are asleep. That's what a body sleep actually means. And uh, you can also ask me about that. Then what are dreams? So what happens to dream when we dream? So you are saying that it's a brain uh, related stuff. So what is dream? So dream. What is dream? So, dream is an unconscious state where we think lots of things. You can ask me that mental ability, but I'm saying that it's an unconscious thing, right? So, uh, if you're saying, uh, for example, uh, the dream is explained or ascribed by a person which is called as, who is named as Sigmund Ferrer on the earliest 1856. He ascribed that dream is a state where uh, a man loses his consciousness and think about what he can't gain in his life. Like uh, if I think that I want to fly, in all my dreams I have feathers and wings to fly high. That's what dream is. It just makes our uh, thinking into reality that we can't uh, accept in our real life. So that's what dream actually is. So in children, they as a term in psychologically, they term as nightmares, which they see lot of terror, uh, terror movement in this life, killing them, shooting them, and revenging them. So that's what actually a uh, sleeping or a dream is about in uh, in child. In uh, adults, you can see that what he desires or what he thinks in, in all the day long he will have a dream of it. That's what dream actually is for the adults. So dream is unconscious state where we are thinking about the uh, that won't happen in reality but thinking in the perception of our mind. So that's what dream actually is. The question number two, why, what happens or what makes us to sleep? So uh, normally they say that uh, a body needs rest and that's uh, sedate you and there's a time period. Like in mobile phones, you can see charges, you can uh, see in the top of the screen that they have 100% of charges. After some of the consumption of that phone, you can see the charge level is reduced. So like that only our body. The body has some of the perception to do 
some activities in a time or a peculiar amount of time. So that's what actually uh, sleeping or making us to sleep. So if you have energy quite long of one minute or you can say sorry, one not one minute. If you have some of the energy that you can perform in 12 or 15 hours, after 15 hours you are maybe or you are forced to sleep. That's what makes us to sleep. The time and the amount of energy that you can exhaust are the major factor that makes you sleep. If you have this much of uh, this much energy and you can uh, exhaust in this much hour and you will get the sleep in this much time of bed and your heart you should be if you are an adult you should have eight hours of sleep right this is a medically proven strategy and if you are a children uh, if you are a child we just need about eight to ten hours of sleep <coughs> eight to ten hours of sleep right if you have this, you are well set. Answering the third question that what happens if we didn't sleep? So a lot of experiment has been done in the past of 20 years, that is two decades. And we had, the scientist has came to a conclusion that uh, if the, the body generates some waste products or poison in our brain to numb it off and make us more sedative and the sleeping is the only process that eliminates these poisons or waste products out of our brain so uh, it is used to eliminate these products from brain so they use the sleep as their remedial uh, or you can say that it's a medicine for get through this process of uh, wasting of a product and as well as poison to eliminate from our brain so that's what Sleeping's main activity is by the uh, medical science department they had told in a press conference at the So, um, the, uh, that's what uh, I told them. The numbs and thumbs of our brains are eliminating from this process. As well as the doctor, uh, uh, the doctors' communities like World Medical Associations term sleeping as it is the nature's way of recharging our body cells for the work and play of tomorrow's beauty. So that's what, and uh, that's what, and uh, what to say? That's what the sleeping's uh, main activity to to do. So, uh, it's the one matter that bothers here. That is nothing but what makes us to sleep or what forces to sleep is the main mystery behind it and we didn't or the scientists didn't found that so uh, we, uh, we can hope that they will find in the future and I will make the video for that so I hope you enjoyed this video and know what is sleeping or what is sleep or what happens if we didn't sleep at night and what makes us to sleep so you understand these much criterions and these three questions that we are trying to encounter in our mind in our daily basis so we know now all the features and now we know all the importance of sleeping and what is sleep and you can answer anywhere on this globe. So if you have enjoyed this video, just give a thumbs up for this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can see a logo or you can see my face. Just touch on it and you go to channel and subscribe to my channel. And you can also see one of my YouTube videos which says that this is how to make money on YouTube and this is how uh, what are the best free video editing software are. So if you haven't seen these videos, just forget, just don't forget to see these videos.